Uh, first of all, I most welcome you to Panama, Mr. Lar. Uh, this is an opportunity that uh, we in the Fundación Libertad, a unique opportunity, I would say, to be able to chat with you about uh, Estonia, the success of the Estonian reforms, and the future of Estonia, as well as your appreciation of Latin America. I think that um, we should start by an easy, uh, talking about an easy, kind of, an easy topic by now. Uh, your government and Estonia has become very famous because of the introduction of a flat tax. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how were you inspired into going to a flat tax and what have been the results. Uh -huh. And a little bit about uh, how the economic, uh, European economic community now feels about the fact that you have a different tax system and a lower tax uh -huh. system. Uh -huh. um, first of all, it's my really pleasure to be here and thank you for the invitation. Um, Estonia is really the country which has got out from the misery thanks to the radical reforms and the flat tax. And uh, why we introduced this? Uh, actually, it's uh, hard maybe to answer because uh, for me, as I'm not an economist, I'm a historian. Uh, for me, the flat tax is just so normal. Uh, when we looked on the, such a progressive tax system which we saw in the different places in the world, it doesn't look to work. The people were not encouraged to work. They were punished. This was very ineffective. It didn't... Uh, uh, get the money to the budget, and it was very normal to move to the more easy traditional tax system. I am a historian, so I know from the history that in the most time in the mankind, the people paid flat taxes. The progressive taxation is just of uh, invention of the of the modern uh, time, and was actually proposed by Karl Marx. And I don't think when we have just uh, take uh, read of the communism uh, in the Soviet Union, why we must then continue with other ideas of Karl Marx. So, we did it. And to be very frank, only afterwards I understood that this was some radical reform. So, I thought this is normal. Looking on the books of Milton Friedman, it looks to be so clear that I, I, I was sure that lots of countries have done it, but um, that was not true then. And we introduced it, there was a lot of opposition in the beginning because it looked to be a new idea, the IMF and everybody says don't do it, don't do it, don't do it and the results will be terrible, your budget will be out of order because when you decrease the taxes then your budget will lose lots of money and but for me it looked it normal when I decrease the taxes when I cut the taxes then actually it must grow because the people will work more. And so you're saying that the IMF was against you putting a... Yes, IMF and World Bank, everybody was against it. So, that's my one small advice, think always with your own head. So. Um, and then we introduced it, and it worked very well. So, in the first year, we earned back more money to the budget um, as uh, we have done with the uh, higher taxes, but this was a small difference. Uh, and then in the coming year, we started to earn lots of, lots of more. So, the flat tax has been a very important part of the Estonian success story. It encouraged growth it encouraged employment, it really was fair, it was easy to understand for people, easy to pay but hard to avoid. So all this combination worked very well for us and then, then other countries started to follow. So we have now the quite large amount of countries in the Central and Eastern Europe and in, the, uh, in other places in the world who have uh, introduced the flat tax and the results are everywhere the same, this is a very positive one. Uh, and of course, you're looking into uh, the possibilities of becoming part of the economic, uh, European economic community. And the uh, bureaucrats in uh, Belgium and Brussels, they don't like, uh, you know, low tax systems because uh, they need money to feed themselves to make uh, uh, the, the community larger and uh, fatter. Uh, what has been the reaction or has been, you know, uh, your strategy to deal with uh, this mm -hmm. potential uh, threat to your system. We are part of the European Union so now, and the understandings of the flat tax and low taxes is very different in the European Union. Um, I must say the majority of the countries are supporting the tax competition. Uh, there are some countries who are not, and that's their problem. 
so which means that we are not only keeping our tax system, the flat tax, but we are widening it. So every year the new countries, nearly, nearly every year the new member states of European Union are moving, the, the next European states are moving to the flat tax. The next country will be Czech, uh, Czech Republic, uh, to do this. And, uh, and this is a process which is uh, not very, uh, not any more possible to stop. This is other happening in the Western Europe. A lot of countries are discussing uh, the move to the flat tax. There is Finland, there is uh, Denmark, Great Britain, um, there is even discussion in the Germany, of course, only in the beginning stage. Uh, but the discussion is there and what's happening that uh, this uh, tax competition, what we're offering from the new member states, is actually making taxes everywhere in Europe so now lower and flatter. In Finland, for example, only one part of one tax is not flat. Finland has made all their taxes almost flat. There's only one exception. And there is a going quite active discussion why not to make this uh, one exception flat too. So it's, uh, it's a positive development which has come through the competition. Yes, the France attitude to be very frank has been that the tax competition is harming their interests, but uh, um, that's this France problem, that's not European problem.